This is my first impressions video. We start with Essence Primer on the eyes. I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. This is new BH Cosmetics Studio Pro. Looks like this. I got the shade. This is my first time trying BH Cosmetics. I heard really good things about it, so I bought a few things. So I guess this is also a first impressions video, which is probably, I'm not. Yeah? Yeah, I should with that. It's a first. Oh my god, it is! Because I'm using yeah. a new palette too! Yeah. This is a first impressions video. <laughs> it's with BH Cosmetics, Morphe, and MAC. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and fill in my eyebrows with their brow pomade in the oh, shade Brunette. And I'm really scared because I've never used a brow pomade, but we're gonna give this a go. I have my little angle brush. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put in. That's the thing. <laughs> I've loaded up my brush a bit. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to try and fill in my eyebrows. I feel like I need a different brush for this. I've always wanted a brow pomade, but like, I'm not down to spend a lot of money. I'm just glad that my eyebrows finally grew back. They didn't look that bad. Just skip Um, they were like half the size. I went to get my eyebrows done, and the lady was like, I want to change the shape. She's like, do you want to change the shape? I'm like, no. She's like, do you want an arch? I'm like, no. I was like, I want them thick. I don't want an arch. I don't want to change the shape. So whenever she's doing them. And it like feels like some of them are going thin, but I'm like, no, there's no way. Cause she asked me, and I straight up was like, no, I don't want this. She turns the chair around. You, you know how you just know? I didn't even have to look at it for long. You know how you can just tell when someone's like messed them up? Yeah. That feeling you get? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I had. I had monster brows. <laughs> so I'm gonna go finish the other brow, and I'll give my update on how I feel about it. I know so far I like it. It's different than what I'm used to using. It matches my eyebrow hair color, so that's a good for brunette. It's a good one. And we'll start into eyeshadow. And again, I have another first impression. This is the Morphe's Limited Edition uh, Copper Spice Palette. They got for Christmas. I'm very excited for these colors. I just think they're really, really pretty. And I'm really obsessed with mustard right now. That's why I'm wearing a mustard shirt. And we're just going to set my eyes with... I think I'm going to set it with this guy. This guy. I don't know what the name is. There's no names here, so I'm just going to go in with this guy. Okay, now we're going to go in with... Um, this is another mustardy shade. Be my transition color. Fluffing, fluffing, fluffing. Fluffy, blending, blending, blur, what? Brush? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Nice. This color. Look very light. Yeah. Blind, blind, blind. When I'm using them, I don't know. I expected it to be a little bit more pigmented, but like they're still pigmented. I just thought they'd be more. Like we were testing them when we swatched them the first day. Probably have to press like hard to get a lot of pigment out. I like the shade though. I think when I looked online that the colors look more like yellowy. Still a very nice shade, just not as yellow as I wanted it. Looks very pretty still. So now I think I'm going to go in with the color underneath that, which is just like a darker version of it. It's also like a mustardy, which is this one here. It blends really nicely. So then I'm gonna go in with my finger back into that light shade. Actually this one's this one's really good. One here, and that's just gonna go in the center. Oh! I'm just sure, going. We'll do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend out everything. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> so now, because it's New Year's Eve, there's a very pretty, like goldy, shimmery, coppery. Like copper is the I really like this one. So I'm going to go in with that one. On a flat shade of brush. I have Fix Plus now. This is my first testing of it, I guess. Wait, how do you... Is it, like, locked or something? Yeah, you got to turn it. Yeah. Okay, so now I know that there's a lock on it. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spritz. Oh. I did about a spritz and a half. I'm not sure if that matters because I've never used it, like, other than, like, with you. So now we're going to try and pack it right in the center. And it's not super pigmented. Um, sometimes you have to spritz and then dip Go into in. it, yeah. Oh, it still looks really pretty though, shit. I picked a good palette. Oh, it's so pretty, look. It's oh, gold. Yeah, it is. Coppery gold. Ooh. I'm gonna go back into that because I really like that color. And pack that on. Oh, wow. Look at that payoff. There's a follow-up. 
Not bad. So then I'm just gonna go back in the fluffy brush in that very first like mustardy shade, and I'm just gonna blend out around the edges of the glitter or shimmer, whatever you want to call it. I don't have glitter fun, not glitter too. I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend again. Okay, so I kind of I like it. Oh, cute. It's gold. It's it's it matches my shirt. It's like coppery spice. Uh -huh. Also, it was a dollar, so I got from the Cosmetics their liquid eyeliner, which I haven't had liquid eyeliner in forever. I've been using the gel. So I'm going back to my old ways with using a felt tip pen, and I literally had a dream. <laughs> Then I messed it up so bad. I really like the packaging, by the way, for BH Cosmetics. It's super, super affordable. And to me, it feels like high-end. Also, only downside is it took a month to come in. And when I did get it in, I'll show you after it. My highlighting palette, which is something I need to try as well. It came in with one of the shades broken. It's very manageable, but it's still disappointing when you wait a month, right? They're super helpful, and I emailed them, and they answered back. Yeah, so this is their liquid eyeliner in black. Look, it's ringing on my, my eyes. I definitely feel like I have way more control. Okay, one eye done. One more to go. I'm gonna do it off camera. So far, I like it. Applies so nice. My only thing is, I don't know if it's me or if it's like fading a bit when I go on top of the eyeshadow, but it's also the first time I've used it. So that could be a concern because that was like my dream. So I'm gonna go ahead and it's put on a foundation, which for me is a mixture of two of them. So I bought myself the Wet n Wild Photo Flippy Foundation in the shade Golden Beige, which looked like it was my shade, but it's actually too warm. When it oxidizes, it looks like terribly orange. So I have um, my Maybelline Fit Me in, it's like a really, really light shade. So I mix them together and this one obviously lightens the shade so that it fits and surprisingly it does work together when combined. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. Apply it. Oh my god, I didn't prime my skin! Oh, oh, my hands! They're full of foundation! Oh my god, is it locked? No, I just can't do it because I have foundation okay. there. Oh, I'm prepped and primed all over my face. Cover up them acne. And we're done. Just to blend everything. Blend it in nice underneath here. So it looks really white, especially on camera now that I'm looking. But considering it's going to oxidize really orange, it'll work, trust me. Because the first time I put this foundation on without the Maybelline Fit Me mixed in, I almost cried. Do you remember how bad it looked? I look like a pumpkin. You don't even want to know how bad it looks. It looks good. It doesn't look too white. Well, right now it's oxidizing already. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. It oxidizes super fast. Going in with Dweely's Fit Me Concealer. Concealer in shade light. Underneath here. Clean up. No, I think it's good. Now I'm going in with my highlighter from this Wet n Wild Correcting Palette. There's a little highlighting shade and I'm just highlighting parts on my face that I want to stand out before I go in with powder. So then once I've done that, I'm taking my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder and I'm going to set my entire face. Set my whole contour kit. Yes, Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm going to contour with this palette with this shade here. I'm going to contour my face because it's really big. So now we're going to highlight, and this is the one I got from BH Cosmetics. It is the Spotlight Highlight 6 color palette, and this is the one that I got broken that I waited a month for. It's hard to show. I'm scared it'll like fall out. I don't know how broken it is, but you can see that shade there is broken. Now I'm going to highlight, which I've never done before, with a highlighting palette of my own. Should I use the broken color? Because it's called Glow. It's supposed to be really good. Like that line on my face now. This is the Morphe blush palette. What it looks like. I'm gonna go on this sheet right palette. here. This is called NYX Liquid Suede. This is called Brooklyn Thorn. Does she not look like Ursula a bit? Like when Ursula is a human? No, <laughs> when Ursula is a no, human. Like, like if Ursula but Ursula was, was cute, hot. yeah. This is my makeup look for BH oh, Cosmetics. I'm just disappointed it took forever to come. But if you like my videos, if you want to see more, make sure you hit my subscribe button. Hit my subscribe button if you want. Bye, thanks for watching.